Hey everyone, um, I've decided to make some videos about my Zoids collection, just showing them off. Um, I have, so this one makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen Zoids that I'm going to be doing. Now those are the ones that are motorized. Except for the Command Wolf over there, the little white one. Um, that's a wind-up model. So, starting off is this very nice custom-painted Dark Horn I got off of eBay. I don't remember the seller. I don't know if they're in the Zoids Discord server or not. But, my God. Uh-oh. He's fine. This is absolute... There we go. This is absolutely beautiful. That gold. And also silver. Uh, painted these black when these were usually like white or silver. Just cast it in silver plastic. The areas where the caps are are gold. Caps are the usual green. The stay black. I think they painted this. Can't remember what color it was. Or maybe it was. I don't remember. But uh. Um. You have the guns here. Of course, this one rotates. This stays the same. This was on the Dark Horn as it is. They painted these silver. I mean, those are the vents, basically, so that makes sense. Just This is a gorgeous, a very gorgeous edit. I mean, customization. <laughs> I like it. Now, where it really shines, obviously... Is in action. It's again like that. And ready. Yeah, this is an amazing custom. Now it came with a uh, a scrap uh, parts dark horn, and I never could get it together properly, so I just had to discard it. <clears throat> I think I had the head around here somewhere, but I ended up throwing it away. Um, but yeah, this is this was definitely worth the forty bucks. Oh, here's the tail. Nice. Hold on. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, quite a short one. Uh-oh. If I upload it now, it's just going to go into shorts automatically. I'm not going to be able to switch it over just to being a normal video. So, I guess we could put two Zoids in this one video. And what better way? Since we're talking about recolors now, look no further than the Liger Zero Midnight Shield. Now, um, 
I absolutely love it. This is my favorite. The figure, the pilot figure isn't in there. He's upstairs somewhere. I didn't like it. I didn't like it going off at random times. Even at night, it would spook the hell out of me. The ever-living hell out of me. These blades go down. Sorry about the dust on there. I lost the little missiles, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. On the tail, I super glued it in there. Just because. Things. You can do the strike laser claw. I didn't put this other one up. And then... And these. I absolutely love this one. This is my favorite. I originally got brand new in box for six... For sixty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I don't regret it. I'm trying to find another inbox. <clears throat> um just so I can keep it sealed, but there's no way to take it out of the well, there's no uh, way to remove the batteries while it's in the box. <sighs> but then again, I want it to stay within working condition. So, the box would have to be basically destroyed to be able to take it out. Sorry. So, I don't know. I'm trying to find the elusive electronic command wolf, but uh, there's one that someone wants like $700 for it. It has everything. But, yeah, it's not worth $700, obviously. Someone had it on Mercari for $100 once, but, you know, I missed that. The only reason it's so expensive is because of how few they made of them. Hasbro scrapped them. But they had the, uh, they had the plan to make a few more, I think. I'll have to try to confirm which ones. Some people in the Zoids Discord know. But yeah, this boy right here. I'm working on getting some of that midnight purple paint. And I was uh, filling in some of the spots that should have had the black paint on it. Then I kind of got sloppy. So I got a... Um, <coughs> and I accidentally t I put the black enamel paint on the... Uh, purple parts so I have to get the this right this right shade of purple and then uh you know fix that problem and I need to what need to wipe them down very good to get any dust off pretty soon I should have them fully restored to his former glory there are some scuffs up there oh boy well you know I'm I've gotten myself into this mess I'm gonna get myself out of it but I love this guy um, I need to put some sealant on him that won't yellow and flake off so yeah I uh oh this movie is this is this video is at nine minutes now almost at ten I've rambled on too much it's definitely not going to go into the shorts now all right so I hope to see you guys in the next video. I think next time I'll do the Burning Liger from Zoids Wild. Um, or the uh, 
energy lighter. For some reason, when he walks, one of his back feet just goes straight up. I don't know what's going on, but oh well. Um, I have one brand new in the box. I got it from an old thrift shop that I used to work at, and I love it. Got it for three dollars. Can you believe that? That uh, particular model kit's going for hundreds now, and doesn't mean anyone's gonna buy it. <coughs> but it's that's how much people are asking for it. Uh, obviously, I don't need to build it. I don't need to build it, so uh, I can keep it in the box. There's no batteries or anything to go bad, so it'll be safe. All the runners and stuff are in their plastic or cardboard or whatever. So yeah, they're doing good. No problems. No problems for the foreseeable future. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I rambled on and I kind of got nervous and I just kept going. That's kind of one of my uh, little problems there. <laughs>